The amazing skyscrapers of Tokyo, Asia's jewel city. It may be hard to believe, but when Tokyo's first skyscraper, the 482-foot Kasumagaseki building, was built in 1968, it was Japan's tallest structure and aroused nationwide interest. Before Kasumagaseki was built, Japan's building standard law set an absolute height limit of 100 feet. But today, Tokyo has over 160 skyscrapers, and it is quite easy for visitors to get a bird's eye view of not only downtown Tokyo, but also distant suburbs, and on clear days, to the top of Mount Fuji, 60 miles away. Tokyo Sky Tree, leaping at 2,080 feet, and Tokyo Tower, standing at 1,092 feet, offer some of the most famous panoramic views of Japan's capital. In this video, we will take you on a virtual tour of Japan's capital, documenting some of the most impressive skyscrapers that dawn the city's skyline. But before we begin, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, kindly do so by clicking on the subscribe icon below. Be sure to give us a like, share the video, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our latest uploads. Let's get it on. One. Tokyo Sky Tree. The Tokyo Sky Tree is the tallest tower in Japan. This telecommunications and observation tower, the tallest of its kind in the world, reaches a height of 634 meters, about 2,080 feet. Tokyo residents consider it the heir to the Tokyo Tower, standing at 1,092 feet high and very similar in shape to the Eiffel Tower in Paris. However, because the Tokyo Tower signal was unable to reach the entire city, a group of six terrestrial broadcasters, led by the Japanese public broadcaster, plus a railways group, financed the construction of this new structure, which was opened to the public on May 22, 2012, after about four years of work. Designers envisioned two viewing points, the first at 1,150 feet, with a capacity of up to 2,000 people, the second at 1,480 feet, with a capacity of 900 people. The tower is an example of engineering and architectural excellence because, despite its size, it is entirely earthquake-proof, thanks to a central core and reinforced concrete made with a supporting pillar attached to the external structure. The same pillar is connected to the tower through a hydraulic system that works as a shock absorber in case of earthquakes. At its base, the framework takes the shape of an equilateral triangle with sides of 223 feet, but as the tower tapers, the cross-section gradually becomes circular. The core column extends only to a height of 1,230 feet and does not support the tower. Instead, above 410 feet, it is connected to the steel framework by flexible oil dampers that act as shock absorbers. Under earthquake conditions, the core column is intended to counteract any sway of the tower. Two, Tokyo Tower. In addition to being the mother of the Tokyo Sky Tree, the Tokyo Tower is also the second tallest structure in the city. Built in 1958, the 1,092 foot tower was built specifically for television broadcasting and is still used today to transmit signals for Japan's major television stations and as a tourist attraction. Its structure, completed in 1961, resembles the Eiffel Tower in Paris and was initially conceived to surpass the Empire State Building's height of 1,250 feet. In reality, that project was scrapped, and Tachu Nato, one of Japan's most important skyscraper architects, was called in to design the tower. He laid out the tower's characteristics based on the requests of the television stations that financed the project. More than 400 people were engaged every day to complete the work that soon became a symbol of environmental protection. One third of the steel used was recycled from the scrap of American tanks used in the Korean War. Tokyo Tower is a well-loved tourist spot and is recommended for anyone wishing to see the Tokyo skyline. Because of its central location, it provides provides an interesting perspective into the inner workings of the city. The main deck stands 150 meters high and can be reached by elevator or a 600-step staircase. The observation deck has a special glass floor called Skywalk Window, through which you can see the dazzling view of Tokyo beneath your own feet. Going up further at 250 meters is the top deck giving a bird's eye view of the greater Tokyo area and bay. On a clear day, it is even possible to see Fujisan. The best time to visit is a little before sunset. This way, you get both a day and night view of Tokyo. There's also something magical about seeing the sky turn dark and lights around Tokyo slowly turning on one by one. And that's not all. Once you go down, there is a souvenir shop and a food court in the basement, and a little museum that tells the story of how Tokyo Tower was built. Three. 
Taranamon Hills. Apart from the two towers, the tallest building in Tokyo is the Taranamon Hills. The skyscraper was built by Mori Building, one of Japan's largest companies in the sector, in the Taranamon district. Standing 255.5 meters, approximately 838 feet tall, the skyscraper rises around Loop Road No. 2, a recently constructed freeway in the city to connect the central districts of Shinbashi and Taranamon. Still under repairs and expansion, when fully completed, the Taranamon Hills complex will have an area of 7.5 hectares, or just about 800,000 square meters, with offices, private residences, stores, and shopping centers. This massive work is integrated with an efficient transport infrastructure, in particular, the Tokyo subway and train. The goal of Mori Building is to create a business center that will surpass the impact of Mori's own world-renowned Rapangi Hills complex. Mori's vision with these developments is to blend the essential elements of everyday life work, leisure, health, and creativity into cohesive spaces. The Taranamon Hills Station Tower, while primarily an office building, will also feature the elegant Hotel Taranamon Hills, catering to both international and domestic travelers. Additionally, its lower levels will house an array of retail establishments. 4. Midtown Tower Midtown Tower is located in the heart of Tokyo, specifically in the district of Akasaka in the Minato Ward of the city. It is known as one of the most popular structures in the area as a mixed-use development. This means that the entire compound is comprised of a number of buildings used as an office, residence, hotel, and much more. Developed by Mitsui Fudo-san, it was known as the tallest building in Tokyo at the time it was completed. However, it has now been replaced by the Tokyo Sky Tree of Tobu. The entire structure sits on a location which is about 78,000 square meters. The construction of the entire structure started in 2004 and was completed three years later by 2007. It was designed by Skidmore, Owings & Merrill, one of the most popular architecture firms in the world. This particular building is the official home to a number of distinguished Japanese companies that have gained their name all over the world. These include Cisco Japan, Yahoo Japan, Uniqlo, and more. It is also the official home of popular multinational brands such as Tweed, Milbank, and Herbert Smith LLP. Inside the compound are hotels, gardens, and even a US-based hospital. Five. Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building. Most people wouldn't think of making a government building a travel destination, but the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building is well worth a visit. Also known as Tocho, it's Tokyo's fifth tallest structure and has observation decks on each of its spires that offer all-encompassing views of the city below. This impressive government building houses important offices and a large assembly hall. The first floor offers tourist information about all areas of Japan. And sometimes, there are fairs with sample products from various regions. But what's most impressive is the building's size and observation decks. This government complex has three primary structures. The main building is 243 meters high, with 48 stories above and three underground. The second is 163 meters high, with 34 stories above and three below. The third building, where the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Assembly convenes, is seven stories high, built with a basement floor and has a circular arcade that envelops a central plaza. Together, these buildings total more than 380,000 square meters. In comparison, New York's Empire State Building has just over half the total floor space of Tocho. The building is one of Tokyo's most iconic structures and often appears in Japanese science fiction and anime. In the 1991 film Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, the monsters battle around Tocho which ends with Godzilla crashing through its midsection. The observation decks in the main building's towers give you views of famous landmarks around Tokyo and beyond like you've never seen them before. These decks are on the 45th floor of each tower. Best of all, the observation decks are free. Well, there you have it, the top five tallest buildings in Tokyo. Which one of them would you like to visit? Let us know in the comments section below. Feel free to subscribe, like, and share without forgetting to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our latest uploads. And that's it from us today. Until next time, thank you for watching.